Hey, this is David B. 69, and welcome to MLB 22, the show, Franchise Mode. Hope everybody's doing fine today. This, in real life and in the video game, is like the most important series of the year. Um, if the Phillies have any hope in remaining a division contender in this franchise and in a regular, in a regular uh, season that we're watching and folded in front of us in real life, we need to we need to basically have a strong showing here. We need to either win two of three, um, but I think in real life we actually sort of need to sweep them. Um, there's just, it's really going to be hard to coming up in the calendar, um, because we have three games here, um, but in real life and everything, we have a doubleheader here against the, uh, Mets, um, so there's a, it's a four game series next weekend in real life, um, but it's only a three game, there's only six games for us here, um, but we need to win these games uh, to make any ground. Um, you can see that the, we're right now five games behind the Mets in the division. And we can't afford to let up any ground here because, I mean, we're basically in late August. Um, we can't, we got to attack and we got to be able to do something here. Um, this is the time that we need to do something. We're going to go back to hybrid presentation. Um, I don't know if people were enjoying the fast, the fast play mode, which is skipping most part of the presentations. Um, the hybrid is a middle ground between, um, which is what I've been generally doing, but. I basically was, we were, I fell behind and everything by a couple of days, so I just figured it was better to skip a lot of that so we can get the episodes to be a little quicker. Um, if people preferred the fast play, I will go back to it. Um, generally, in a lot of cases, I do skip some of the stuff that was happening, Um so I, I could always do that again as well. So just let me know in the comments below and let me know what you think. If you basically would like to see less um, presentation and just more regular at-bats and such, I can do that. Just let me know. Um, we're going to have Hoskins DHing today. Try to give him a little bit of a break. And we're going to have Mondesi play third so we can get him have a break. <sighs> um, we're also going to give Real Muto the day off. It's just, this is just a hunch. Um, generally, Scherzer is kind of a pain in the butt to him. So I'd rather give him a day off and we'll move him up. And I want to have Mondesi bat ninth. So, okay. So that's where we are. So let's get this game started. Um, I hope everybody's doing good today. I'm really stoked up for this series and want to get the gameplay here. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the New York Mets. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Schaub. And, and a couple of division rivals going head-to-head -to -head today, Siggy. I think when these New two teams York match up, Mets. that regardless, you're looking to bury that other claw because of what they've done to you over the course of the season. You figure, hey, it's my time to return the favor. So just about set now. 
And starting in this one, Matt Scherzer. And as usual with him, Singy, I think we can expect plenty of strikeouts. Yeah, Boogie's racked up over 3,000 strikeouts in his career, so expect to see more of the same in this one. All right, ready to get underway. And here's the first baseman, Kyle Schwarber. The wind of the pitch. Slapped foul. First pitch, 7 10. So here's Scherzer. Strike two. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swings and misses. Now one away. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch right over the, the heart of the plate. And I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. Could tell Marte up to the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. That's through there for a strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, the one positive, if you're out there on the mound, it's knowing that you can still get out of this inning with one pitch. Can't let that mistake snowball here. Get that ground ball, get out of the inning with a double play. Bryce Harper in the box with one away as he takes ball one. And there's the strike. Scherzer deals. Swings through that one for strike two. Scherzer ahead one and two. And now it's even up. Yeah, the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. Really good hard bite to that breaking ball for the strikeout right there. That I mean, he was able to bury it down below the zone, eight. and that's throwing the pitch with conviction. Good thing for the pitcher, he's not going to miss in the zone, and that's where you get hurt. Excellent execution with two strikes. That could be a big weapon for him in this start. Man at first. Now the left fielder, Nick Castellanos. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Cut off. Now a throw home. There's the tag. They get him. And that's the inning. Philly strand one. Now the Mets will step up with their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Back after this on the show. Bottom of the first. Starting on the mound in this one, Fromber Valdez. Well, no doubt about it. He's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down. Now, he's got good stuff. He's just got to be able to have confidence, trust it, and really go after hitters, not nibble. Trust that his stuff can have late life and miss barrels of bats. Bottom of the first, Starling Marte up to him. Leading up for the, the pitch. The center fielder. Way Starling. outside. And that's Marte. ball one. And a pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Schwarber settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one down. Here's Brandon Nimmo. The right fielder. Brandon Nimmo. And fouled off.
One down, base is empty. And there's the strike. Here's the 0 2. Stays alive. Going two now. On the ground, right side. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Gonna count one and two. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Out number two. Batting third. The two outs, base is empty. JD. Now it's JD Davis. David. First pitch just misses. And the 1 0. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Whips it to first on the run. That ends the frame. Nothing doing for the Mets. We played an inning. No score. Back here at the ballpark, second inning set to go. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Chopped left side. McCann to first. One up, one down. That and here's the catcher, the catcher. Garrett Stubbs. Garrett Stubbs. And the first pitch misses for ball one. No score here in the second. Next pitch is downstairs. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire. Very consistent with his zone, Chris. Gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog. And I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way. So people around the league really appreciate his consistency. Scherzer winds, kicks, fires. Pitch is in there. Three and one. Left hand batter waits. And he takes a strike. Here comes a 3 2. Stubbs checks his swing. Appeal down to third. No swing. Kenny Jansen with the call. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that ball. This is Bryson Stott. First offering misses badly for ball one. Second inning here, no score. Next offering is in for a strike. And he deals. Pitch misses there, and it's two and one. Two and one now. Scherzer deals. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Stones over at first with one away. Next one misses, and that's ball three. So here we go. Base runner at first. 
could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Here's David Fletcher. The second baseman, David Fletcher. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Next offering is foul back. The other way. One left for Philadelphia. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here in Queens. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. Leading up for the Mets, the first baseman. And first offering is fouled off. Alonso. And now the lefty. High in the air, out to right. Harper sizing this one up. Brings it in. And there's one down. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. Eduardo. In there, and it's 0 and 1. The 0 1. And yeah, that's outside. The pitch. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Stubbs fires the first, and there's two gone following the strikeout. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Next offering is in for a strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. The 0-2. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The one two stays alive. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Makes the grab on the run. And that is that. Mets go down quickly. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back. Adelberto Mondesi up to the plate. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Natalie turns and heads for second. It's a leadoff double to start the third. Well, a swing like that can help you come out the of this struggle. We saw 12. the numbers coming into the Kyle. ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. First offering misses the mark. Mondesi leads off second with nobody out. And he was nowhere near that one for strike one. After the loss yesterday afternoon where they really didn't ever get things going on offense, I think this is an important opportunity right here to pick up an early run. Next offering is in for a strike. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either.
That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Grounder tags it second. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. The center field. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. He was plugged in his first trip to the plate. First pitch, and he just misses. No score here, but a runner at third with one down. To the right side. Toss to Alonzo. Now two away as they get a run across. Now batting the right fielder, Bryce Harper. Here's Harper now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two down, nobody on. On the ground, right side. Throw, and it gets away. Harper hung up in a rundown now. And they put the tag on him. That's the third out inning over. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Phillies one and the Mets nothing. And welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's Mark Canna. Leading up. Valdez back to work. The left fielder. There's a strike. Canna. He swings and fouls one off. Deal two. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Marte settles underneath it. One away. Jeff McNeil Bang up in. now for the Mets. The good base contact base. guy, good yeah. defender. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Got him. Two gone now. James McCann in now. Really Adding love the up. pitch sequence right there. The I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher yeah. on the same page right now. McCann. Kicks and fires. Oh. And now two and nothing. Swing and a miss. Strike one. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Two outs. In the air, right field. Harper moving under it. That is the inning. Down in order go the Mets. They still trail 1-0. Back here at City Field, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off, off the fourth, Nick Castellanos. The fielder, number eight, Nick Castellanos. The pitch. That nope. one missed. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Next offering way off the plate. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. The 2-0 is in for a strike. And a 2-1 on the way. There's a strike. Oh, 
Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. The throw into second, and he'll pull into second safely. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. 0 for 1 so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Runner leads away at second. And that one fouled off. Man at second. And another ball. And there's a ball. And a 3 1 on the way. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Marte settles under this one and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Now batting the catcher. Here's the speedy catcher, Garrett Stubbs. First offering misses the mark. Castellanos, the runner at second with one away. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Big swing and a miss. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. He clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2-0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. Swing and a miss, and now 2-2. Two and two. Well, baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Runner at second here, one gone. Got him. That's out number two. Well, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, one that lasts now for several games, Ooh. even a week or more. You know, right now, he's Stop. really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track, back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. Now, here is Bryson Stop. Ripped on a line. Dives, but it falls, and now it looks like extra bases. Runner from second crosses the plate, and they take a two-run lead. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. No Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Look for it. Here's the second baseman, David Fletcher. First pitch, and he just misses. The 1-0. He was late there, strike one. Runner at second, two down. And a count one and two. Righty to the plate. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And that will end the inning. Phillies with the run scoring double. It's now a 2-0 ball game.
back here at the ballpark. Bottom four. Here's Starling Marte. The wind of the pitch. Here's the swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That fires up the home crowd. His 11th of the year, and they're on the board. It's 2-1. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the play, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. The right fielder, number nine, Brandon. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Swang and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Just kind of sliced that one into center. No outs. Runner at first. And stepping in for New York, J.D. Davis. Next pitch downstairs. Ball one. Good eye right there. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. And a pitch. And that one is in for a strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Swing and a miss, and he got him. One out in the bottom of the fourth. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. Three, two, he goes oh, off speed, the gets the out. The first baseman, Pete. Here's oh, Pete Alonso. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Here's your one. That one back up the middle and it gets through. The throw in. And he's safe. So it's first and third with one down. Well, that was now an important at bat in this game. So a great job there Morgan. stepping up to the challenge. Just a That's cookie good. down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Escobar, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Just missed. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that... Fires to second for one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Back here in Queens, here's a speed threat at Alberto Mondesi. Sing, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. And first offering is fouled off. And now the one. Late that time, and it's strike two. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next pitch is outside. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. And that one handled. Over to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. The first base Kyle Schwarber. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. One home run shy of 200 for his career. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Next one is off the plate. Two balls, no strikes. Left-hand hitter waits. 
And that one fouled off. The 2 1. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. 2 2 down. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. Around first and hustling for second. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. Now, well, here we are, third time through the order. And this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Man at second with one away. Cattell Marte stands in for the Phillies. Hard on the ground to first. And it's through for a hit. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. Tag, and he's out at the plate. I think the base runner thought he had a better jump okay. on that than the third base coach, clearly, as he tried to score from second. Third base coach was trying to hold him up, had both arms up, but he ran through the stop sign, and that's a costly base running mistake. Bryce Harper to the plate. You know, I'm actually curious if the third base coach had the uh, his arms up. Yeah, he told him to stop. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's okay. He's like, oh crap. Okay, he's gonna go. Okay, that was just that was a curiosity thing. Way inside, gets away. And now, a man into scoring position. Two outs, and one in scoring position. Next offering is in for a strike. Stirring in the bullpen for the Mets. Drew Smith appears to be getting loose. Castro warming up as well. And a pitch. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. In the dirt, and the runner holds. Marte at second with two down. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his now career that, since day be. one. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. For a guy that's been swinging the bat well all game long, that was a pretty ugly swing right there. I'm sure he'll tighten it up on this next pitch. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. One and two now. Way high. First and second, two down. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Canna has a beat on it. And that'll do it. Phillies leave a couple as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And the pitch. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Next offering is fouled back. 
The pitch. Stays alive. And a foul ball left side. Got him looking. And there's one away. Here's the left fielder, Mark Canna. He's 0 for 1. Canna. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The lefty, the 1 0. Chopped out towards short. Stott over to first in time. Two up, two down. Up next for the Two Mets. outs, base is empty. Jeff McNeil Jeff. up now for the Mets. Swing and a tapper. Sends it to first. Inning over. And the Mets go down one, two, three. They're down two to one. The Your Mets with a new team. arm on the mound, Drew Not Smith. It's his man. job to keep his team Number in the game. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Philadelphia. And welcome back. Hitter. Now it's the DH, Reese Hoskins. Here comes a pitch. That's in there. Strike one. Action in the Mets bullpen. Adam Adovino, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. 0 oh and 2. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. At the belt and fires. And down on strikes. And a quick out number one. Came after him with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of now what power it. pitching that's is all about. He's Garrett. got the stuff, obviously, and oh. right there, he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. Stubbs up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. And it's one and one. On the mound, you take a note, you see the hitter's willingness to chase that pitch upstairs. Get deeper in the count. Try to climb the ladder. Now fly ball to right center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. The batter, so two five. down now. Sure. And here is right Bryson there. Stock. One for oh. two. And first offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. Up the middle. Lindor on to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. 9-1-2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Phillies two and the Mets one. Well, we go bottom six. Here is James McCann. Leading up for the Mets. The wide to kick the, the pitch. James. In for a strike. Strike one. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. And now the lefty. And now one and two. They tried to get him to go chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Fires across the diamond. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. And now the center fielder, Starling Marte. Marte. Now a drag bunt, third base side. He is safe. Singy, that was a close play. But it looks like they're considering challenging the safe ball. Really close, Boog. And tough to tell in real time. We weren't sure. So you really can't blame them for wanting to take another look. So they have decided to challenge the play, and now it's up to the replay umpires in New York to make the call. Ladies and gentlemen, 
the here's one more look. The they called him safe, player. and I'm not sure that there's anything here to overturn the call. What about you, Singy? I don't think so, Boo. I mean, we need something obvious to overturn it, and I just don't see it. So they've made a decision, and the runner is safe. Not enough to overturn it, and that leaves them without any challenges the rest of the way. Upon video review, and next for the Mets, Brandon Nimmo. Marte of the move. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second, tag, and they got him. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. Oh, and he hit him. Well, he went after him right there with one of his best pitches. I'm really surprised that one got away from him. Now it's J.D. Davis. J.D. And that's in there for strike one. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving. The walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. And he'll two. Foul ball, he stays alive. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Next offering upstairs. Nimmo off the of first with two away. Swing and a miss, and that is that. We're through six full. It's the Phillies two and the Mets one. Back here at City Field. Now here is David Fletcher. Meeting off for Philadelphia. The second baseman, David. Fletcher. And he deals. And ball one. And the 1 0. -oh. Out to short. Toss to Alonzo, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Here's the third baseman, Adalberto Mondesi. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The pitch. Cut on and missed 96 of that fastball. Ball one there. One ball, two strikes, Cal. And now the count is even. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Stays alive. The 2-2 two -two now. Up the middle. Lindor on the first. And two away to start the seven. And now the first, the first baseman, baseman, Kyle well. Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time pop at the plate. And the pitch. Foul ball there. Left hand batter waits. A little bit low. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, we've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the third out. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess. Bottom of the inning, here's some real power at the plate. Pete Alonso. 
The We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jose Alvarado. And he'll work on holding this lead. The pitch. Here's the strike of the knees. That's strike one. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. And it is two and one. Next offering is foul back. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One gone here. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just now does back. so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you get the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. Out to short. Fires over to Schwarber. And that quickly, two away. Now battle. Not shortstop. Francisco Lindor. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. And first offering is fouled off. Next offering is fouled back. Next one misses. One and two to count. Two down, nobody on. On the ground to third, Mondesi handles. And the Mets go one, two, three. Nothing doing for the Mets. And they trail it here, two to one. Adam Adovino getting the call to the mound. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Here's Cattell Marte. Leading off for the Phillies, the center fielder, number four, Cattell Marte. And the pitch. Fouled off. He was late. A little tardy on that fastball. is going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. You'll one. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. First out in the top of the eighth. Here's Bryce Harper. Just overmatched on that fastball right there. And it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at-bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. In there, and it's 0-1. And he'll one. Well, you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Here's Harper, the count two and one. Good eye in that spot. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you. So you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Yeah. Man at first with one gone. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. In there for strike one. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll it to a double play. Way outside, straight to the backstop. 
in there safely. A one two. And down on strikes he goes. Two away. Stepping in the long ball threat, Reese Hoskins. Now batting, designated hitter, Reese Hoskins. Pitch misses inside, ball one. Harper stands at second with two gone. The next offering misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. Trying to figure out the one stat. Uh, now he steps out of the box as he asks. Trying to figure out the one stat and everything. Is it? Oh, run scored. Okay. I was like trying to figure out from home plate and everything what that category was, and I couldn't figure it out. Okay, that makes sense now. Okay. For time. Two oh. Hoskins pushes it foul. And that one gets away at the plate. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Out of the bottom of the eighth, now the left fielder, Mark Cannon. Leading off for the Mets, the left fielder, Mark Cannon. New pitcher on now, Josh Stamont, trying to now protect this lead. Number 63, John. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One away. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base right. runner really Number makes one. this inning a bit Second more interesting. Game. But now this yeah. offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Right-handed reliever. Hard hit left side. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. That's a play you expect your shortstop to make pretty much every time. Pretty routine. Hard to tell if he didn't get a great grip on it or the mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. And now the catcher comes up to him. James McCann. Next offering is down low. And that is ball one. Double play ball to second. Over to stop for one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Substitution being made at first on a pinch run. Willie McIver. Marte in the box now. Takes strike one. McIver. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Next pitch inside. And it's two and one. And the righty deals. Slice down the right side. And it's filled up. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. On the ground, right side. Fletcher fires over to first. That's the third out, inning over. Mets leave one, and our score remains 2-1. Willie McIver, the new catcher now. Pitching change here, Miguel Castro. He's pitching on two days rest. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Castro. comes a pinch oh now this one's high and deep way back there on its way gone 
He flexes his power with that swing. His 27th home run of the season. It's 3-1. Here's the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. Up next for Philadelphia, the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. First offering, misses the mark. The 1-0. Swings through that. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch, perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. And it's fouled away. Line drive, short hop to third. Throw to first. Now one gone in the ninth. The batter, and one. now for the Phillies, Bryson Stott. Bryson. One for three. Stott. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. That one misses. 1 and 1. pitch and it's even up recognize that change up right out of the hand just spit on it two two line drive base hit nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line you know hitters they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field and it doesn't always translate into the game but right there it did and he did it perfectly. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now at the plate, David Fletcher. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. That's back-to-back -back singles that. for him. Her I could watch base, base hits like that one all day long, and Mondesi. so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. So one out with two aboard. And digging in for Philadelphia at Alberto Mondesi. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. Kicks and fires. Looking for some insurance, or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Righty to the plate. Strike on the outside. It's two and two. Stop over at second. Fletcher at first. One gone. Tapped softly on the ground. And he'll be safe at first. Up next for Philadelphia. And here's the first baseman, Kyle Schwarber. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Into center. Marte under this one. He makes the grab. Both runners tagging. Just ahead of the throw, he scores. And they're up by three. Well, he'll take the sack fly on the mound right there. Base is loaded. I mean, this is a high leverage situation. And if you can limit the other team, you're doing pretty good work. See if he can get this next out. Seth Lugo into the game. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Lugo. Cattell Marte stands in for the Phillies. 
Siggy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Corners are occupied with two down. Mondesi on the move. There's a ball. Throw to second. Out there. And the inning. We head to the bottom of the ninth. And now the right fielder, Brandon Nimmo. Leading up for the Mets. The right Back fielder. now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Corey Knievel. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Next pitch is outside. Two and one. And the right hander deals. Strike two. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. Three, two. Foul off again, and it remains three and two. Out towards left center. Tracks it down for the out. And there's one away. And now the Mets now DH, J.D. Davis, for the fourth time tonight. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The 0-1. Good eye right there. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you wanted to play. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their now starter. Back. Yeah, we've seen base some base. pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. Oh, I mean, they've down. come in ready to do their job and get out. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Mets down to their final out. And now, Pete Alonso. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. All in one now. That one the other way. Base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. And now it's one and two. On the ground right side. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Phillies take game one of the series on the road. It's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like. But they didn't let any of those things distract them. In fact, it looked like they were playing a home game. Excellent job to set the tone for this series. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. And that's a big start to the series, and, and oh, man, what a game. So until next time, this is David B. 69. I am out. I hope everybody enjoyed. Bye-bye. score tonight first for the victorious philadelphia phillies four runs on 10 hits one error they left eight runners on base for the mets one run five hits one error they left five men on base time of the ball game two hours and 54 minutes thank you for joining us here this evening we remind you to please drive home safely